On December the 16th, 2009, a delegation of monks and nuns from Thich Nhat Hanh's Plum Village Practice Centre came to the European Parliament in Strasbourg, France, to meet with the chair of the UN Subcommittee on Human Rights, Heidi Hautala. They came to deliver a formal request for protection for 400 monks and nuns currently being persecuted by the Vietnamese government. These 400 disciples of France-based Zen master and best-selling author Thich Nhat Hanh are urgently appealing for temporary protection in France. I am deeply disturbed and concerned of the attacks against the peaceful religious community of Chi Nhat Hanh followers from 8 to 10th December in Vietnam. During those days, uniformed and undercover police as well as local communist party officials terrorized the residents of Phuoc Hue Pagoda. This forced its abbot to consent to a 31st of December deadline for several hundred Buddhist monks and nuns to vacate the pagoda. I am alarmed by the reports that the attackers assaulted monks and nuns violently. The violent expulsion of the monks and nuns from Bat Na Monastery and Puok Temple, an increasingly tense situation following these actions, are in clear contradiction of the commitments with regard to freedom of religion and assembly, which the government of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam has undertaken as a signatory of the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Our government is killing our spiritual aspiration. I'm one of the 400 Bac Nha monks and nuns from Vietnam. We have come together to practice peace and non-violence as a community since 2005. 16 months ago, our government began to harass and repress us. In June 2009, they get electricity and water. In September, they violently expelled us from our Bagnia monastery. After this explosion, we took refuge in Fukui Temple, and the persecution escalated up until last week. The government terrorized the abbot to the point that he had to sign a promise that December 31st is the last day that we can stay together. Wherever we go now in Vietnam, we are not safe. It is the greatest catastrophe for a monk or a nun to be separated from their spiritual community. To destroy a monastery and to kill a community of monks and nuns is a great misfortune for our traditional culture. We love our nation, we love our people, and we have devoted our whole life to practice being peace, being non-violent, as a concrete contribution to our society and to world peace. But our government and system of law in Vietnam has shown the inability to protect this peaceful community. So we ask for your protection. We ask the international community, especially President Sarkozy of France, to give us temporary asylum. As soon as our government will allow us to practice and stay together as a community, we will return right away to serve our people and not be a burden on France.